If you visit Apple website, you can see there is an invitation for an event, but it's not something that we were anticipating. It is in April, it's June. And while we should not be surprised if we see some new hardware on this officially software keynote, there is no reason to believe that we will not see some very important devices before. In April, for example. The question, what and when exactly? Welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, rumors and opinions. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button and turn on all notifications to miss the next video. Friends, if you ever wanted a good website, a blog, a social network, a web store, and everything with elite class hosting, look no further than my buddies from Ireland. Blackbeard Hosting. Simple, easy to use website installer, 24-7 customer support, real people, and more hosted on fast, reliable, and secure servers. Hey, even VPN is included. Check it out. One month free trial, no credit card needed. The link is in the description and in the comment. With digital marketing code, you get 5% off. Blackbeard Hosting. Hosting as it should be. There was so much information about what we can expect at this spring event. If we go back, it started with AirTags, then the iPad Pro variants, new AirPods, and Apple TV. But then it went even further with iPad 9 generation, iMacs, new iPhone SE, and even Apple's VR glasses. Too bad we didn't put those 2030 contact lenses from the time when Jiu Ming Chi was high. Now, recent updates by Max Weinbach suggests this potential event will be tied to three categories, iPads, wearables, and accessories. While iPad Pro lineup is already more or less certain, you guys are already familiar with the specs and what should be showcased, and in case you're not, check out one of my previous videos. I've built a monument to iPad Pro in my channel. What is important to mention, that it's from multiple sides we heard that the full-scale production of these performance professional tablets is expected in the middle or late April. It's now almost. However, I really want to focus on accessories. Regardless if it gives the impression that those are likely to be air tags, it doesn't have to be. There are three kind of accessories that could be introduced in the upcoming event. Imagine everything three. Yes, one are air tags, and probably the only reason why everyone is talking about it were previous rumors that have been spread throughout the whole previous year. But then we have a potential Apple Pencil third generation and we have seen leaked image. This can be a perfect match with the new iPad Pro introduction, right? Yes, we've seen AirPods 3 as well. And in the end, it turned out it will not happen at least till third quarter of this year. And since we are back to iPad Pro, John Prozer with his eyebrows did talk about the arrival of the new Magic Keyboard, right? Remember that? Not long afterwards, some web outlets did share a similar story and we even saw some new patents. While there were no some big predictions, few minor improvements like better build, higher quality material, and I'm guessing Thunderbolt 4 as well, have been mentioned. The thing about the AirTags, for example, as time is passing by and as I begin to observe it more as important piece of Apple's ecosystem and less as a standalone product or accessory, which in a way it is, I'm getting convinced more and more that these trackers would truly be showcased in WWDC, considering we will get a peek into new iOS, iPadOS, and all the other Apple operating systems. Now, if they do appear earlier, perfect. But till then, June 7th is the date to target. The last category is wearables. And beside new Apple Watch Edition or new watch bands, really nothing else comes to my mind. Maybe you have a better idea. Please let me know. Finally, let's deal with dates. We know that leaks madness has been dragging our noses left and right from one day to another. I don't think it's gonna stop, but you can always have a little reserve. If we are honest, even the most reliable and legitimate leakers like Mark Gurman, Kang have made mistakes. With that said, if event really takes place in April, we have limited number of dates that we can look forward to. So we're about, Tim, two to three weeks away from Apple announcing new updates to the iPad 
Pro in some of their other devices. So this new iPad Pro will come in the same 11 inch and 12.9 inch screen sizes as the current models that launched last year, but they'll have much, much faster processors. That's going to be the big thing this year. If we base our expectation on previous events and releases, we can have a guess. If we look at the recent tweets by Duan Rui, the voice of Kang, the most reliable leaker out there, it is possible we will finally see the iPad Pro and few other updates next week. This fits perfectly in the schedule predicted by Mark Gurman. So, next week. The question is, will there be an event or just a press release? Both options are possible, and at the moment there is no official invitation for the event, so yeah. What's your opinion? Will there be an Apple event? And what Apple devices are likely to be released on that day? Please answer in the comments. That's all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Make sure you check offers in the description. Some of those are Apple products and accessories. Thank you so much for watching this Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye. CyberGhost VPN. Surf fast. Stream anything. Face no limits. Hide your IP and stay secured. Up to 83% of discount with extra 3 months for free. CyberGhost VPN.